I spent two years learning how to make games and here is my entire progress in five minutes. With the free time of a college student and the motivation of a snail, my progress is often slow. I have a hard time getting started with things, especially something as daunting as making games. Luckily, early on I stumbled across the holy grail of game tutorial videos, Brackies. I followed along and made a game where square go sideways to avoid big rectangles. I am a perfectionist so I had to understand everything as I went. Overall, great way to start making games. With this one tutorial, I was well on my way to making AAA games bringing in the big bucks. And I learned one thing. Follow Brackies. Literally, if you want to know how to do something, Brackies will have your answer. Brackies knows everything. After this, I decided to start developing my dream game. It was going to be a combination of Bug Heroes and Pocket Legends, two games I played during my childhood. I was going to call it the very creative and innovative title, Poly Legends. Get it? Because low poly. I was making so much progress, constantly learning. Every time I wanted to do something I didn't know how to do, I would look it up on YouTube. That's the nice thing about using Unity, is there are so many helpful tutorials out there, it's impossible to not know how to do something. I learned so much in this first project. It was way over scoped as all beginning projects are, but even as an unfinished project, I would call it a success. So that, I give it a 7 out of 10. Then I decided my next step was to try out a game jam. So I joined the Brackies Game Jam. For those of you that don't know, game jams basically give you a set amount of time where you have to have a completed game by the end of it. For the Brackies Game Jam, I had a week, and I was a mess. The game changed directions, I changed scope, I overscoped, I didn't know where the art was going, there was no audio, the base game did not work. Basically, nightmare. But I had so much fun planning out everything and doing the game mechanics. It was a blast. Even if the end result was not the best. I would give this a 3 out of 10. I was having a rough time in college, so I started streaming a lot, and I joined a game jam for streamers called Scorespace. I did this with another person, which is actually why the game looks and sounds good. I streamed the entire thing, and I worked with an amazing artist while I did the questionable code. I spent so much time overcomplicating the lasso mechanic, so it varies rotational and fling speed based on distance and time held. In hindsight, it would have been better to just do a simple rotation and then spend time on other things, but you live and you learn, that's the point of game jams. In the end, it was good learning how to work with other people collaboratively on a project, so for that I give this an 8 out of 10. My next project was one I made for one of my college classes. We learned everything about the Game Boy Advance and its hardware, and then, the last month of the class we had to make a game for it. Since the GBA doesn't have an operating system, we had to manage memory ourselves. It was really fun to see the interaction between hardware and software with this project. I made a game called the Cheeseburger King. For legal reasons, this could not be called Burger King. Please don't sue me, Burger King. It's basically a platformer with very polished movement mechanics. The jump height varies by how much you hold the jump button. There's a dash mechanic that gives you a slight speed boost in invulnerability frames mid-air. I speed ran this a lot when testing it, and it was loads of fun. Go check it out on itch.io, links in the description. Keep in mind you need to run it with a GBA emulator. Because of how much fun it was to make this game, and how much I learned while making it, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Then, I worked on a project with a group of friends I met in college. It was a cooperative platformer where you are tethered to the other person and need to work together in 3D space to survive. You can transition to 2D space separately in order to solve certain puzzles. We only worked on it for a couple of months, but in these months I learned so much about working on a larger team. The project remains unfinished in the depths of unfinished past projects, but it was a great concept. I learned so much about working on a team with this project, however, the final game was unfinished and there were a lot of bugs, so I would give this a 5 out of 10. Throughout this time, I've had a bunch of abandoned projects that I worked on just to learn a concept or because I had a game idea that didn't turn out as fun as I imagined in my head. Every one of these projects taught me something valuable in my game dev journey, and even though they aren't finished, I'm grateful for them. So what's next, you may be wondering? I have a silly game idea in the brews. The core gameplay loop is quick and quirky. I will tell you this, one of my inspirations is Mario Kart, but it won't be a racing game, it's more like an arcade game. 